this crime better than most Democrats. And then I looked into the crime situation here. Now, you basically have two types of criminals. You have your traditional criminal that goes out and preys on people, and then you have your dangerously mentally ill person. And I found out that in 1950, we had a half a million people institutionalized. You know how many we have now? 37,000. Well, what the hell happened? It looks like in the civil rights movement, when we granted all these rights to the people that didn't have rights at the time, blacks, women, workers, the environment got more rights to people with disabilities, they said, hey, let's bring the mentally ill along too, and let's give them all the rights, right? And there's a phrase for that. It's called the term, dying with one's rights on, which means you can be mentally ill, but you could be dying on the street. You can have all your rights, but hey, you're going to be dead and naked and afraid and disease-ridden because the country is not trying to help you. Now, the country was spending a lot of money on these institutions, so they wanted to cut the budget. And they found out all these drugs, I'm sure you're familiar with some, that you don't need a psychiatrist watching you 24-7. You give the guy a pill, and he's lobotomized. So they just, big pharma love that, they give you pills, and then they just kind of make all of these insane people go back and live with their parents. They put them in nursing homes. So that's what happened, and now you see people just running around, swinging at people and stabbing people, so the country has to look and say, we, the pendulum swung way too far on the left, and now we have to get it to a place where the compassionate response is to institutionalize people. Uh, Jessica, you grew up in this city.